<laughs> What's up, guys? It's Eli Fred. Sorry for the bad lighting. And it's your boy Eli. It's your boy Jerry. And we just saw the movie Happy Death Day to you. Don't mind a lot up there. Okay, so this movie pretty much is the same as the first movie where the girl's stuck in a time loop. But this time, everything's different. And that's pretty much the plot of the movie. She's stuck in the same time loop, but everything's different. And like, people are acting different. People are together that shouldn't be together. People are alive that shouldn't be alive. And now she's trying to figure out her way to fix this situation. And you want to give your opinion about the movie first? Yes. I'm just three words. No, three stuff. Three sentences. The movie was interesting. The movie was garbage. But I'm going to watch the third one. Because I feel like there's going to be a next one coming up. Okay, so why was the movie interesting? Because think about it, this lady is kind of immortal, so she dies in so many different ways, and it's kind of curious finding. I feel like it's curious to find how would it feel to die every single way. Oh, that's the way to die. Yeah, just like make a checklist of. What to do, like ways to die. So this movie is making cycles, is what it's pretty much getting the point. Continue. And so, but I said it was garbage because, like, I just felt the vibe that was like a super, super knockoff version of Final Destination. Like it just had that suspense as if it was a Final Destination. It, uh, but I'll give it a take. It was really interesting. It's a little different from what I've seen. This year, so this year, um, I would say it could do way better. You know, I feel like it fixed a couple mistakes from the first one. I did not watch the first one, unfortunately. But if the third one comes out better, I hope if it comes out better than the second one because I was about to fall asleep. So you'll choose Alita over this because Obviously. both of them for the Valentine's uh, movies. Valentine's movie, I stick with Alita, definitely Alita. Um, but if you're very into psycho stuff. Go right ahead. You can watch this movie. You done? I'm done. Go ahead. All right. So I like this movie, but it's obviously not as good as the first one. I kind of felt the same way with him where you're like, all right, okay, this movie's dragging on. Because, like, the thing is, with them repeating the same thing over and over, eventually it's going to get tired. But Tom Cruise made a similar yeah, movie but like, like that as well. That's what we were talking about in the last review. Yes, exactly. With the day out, the, the edge, day of tomorrow, the, the edge of tomorrow. tomorrow. But anywho, <laughs> anywho, so... This movie was good. I like the uh, main actress. She's always like, she what makes the movie. And like the other characters, I don't know, like the boyfriend kind of stood out, but like all the other ones really didn't really, I don't know. Like, I think all of them did pretty decent besides the two, his friends, those Asian guys, friends. They didn't really stick out. No, I just didn't. Yeah, but like overall, it's pretty much the same movie, just different, but like, it's, I don't know. I prefer the first movie and I would, tell you if you like was a real big fan of the first movie watch this but if you want to watch something different watch a leader that would be my opinion but i like how you don't have to see the first movie to understand this movie because they show you what happens in the first movie like in five seconds but yeah i don't really know what to say if you really are a fan i really want to see this movie go see it but if you're not really want to don't see it. it's it's okay it's okay the first one's better but see, watch a leader is my opinion but yeah peace out like comment Subscribe. Yeah.